feet out of him. Peter's all over there, and he just. <laughs> right, like that freaks me out. He's all, all, all the way back there, and he's. <laughs> so, did I share a rooster crow? Because roosters weren't allowed in the temple at the time. And so he's hearing this rooster crow, and he looked, boom, straight at Jesus. What does that tell me? That tells me that Jesus knew exactly where Peter would be. And I will tell you, when you feel like you've let God down, God looks at you and he says, I told you before it happened, it was going to happen. And I loved you enough to warn you before that when it happens, get over it. But I have pleaded in prayer for you. How many of you would feel comfortable if Jesus himself walked up to you in the middle of your class and said, hey, I just want you to know, I prayed for you. That'd be pretty cool, right? Make you feel, feel pretty strong. He says, I prayed for you so that your faith should not fail. So that when you have repented, turn to me and strengthen your brother. What is he telling me? He's saying, hey, Peter, you're going to fail. When you fail, I want you to know that I'm going to see you and I care about you. I see you. And again, God looks at you and he says, if you fail, when you mess up, when you don't get it right all the time. How many of you guys have sinned in the last week? Okay, how about in the last day? Some of you are like, I don't know if I should still keep my hand up or not. My teachers are in the room. I'll keep my hand up. God looks at us and he says, I know you're going to mess up. I know you're not going to get it right. When you get it wrong, here's what I need you to do. And if you leave with one thing today, here's what you need to do. When you realize you got it wrong, when you realize you found yourself standing around the fire with people you shouldn't be hanging out with, or you said something you shouldn't. Anyone, anyone ever said something they shouldn't have said? And after it comes out of your mouth, you're all, that was, I told my mom to shut up one time. That was awesome. That's a story from the other day. That was one of those, that was one of those, as soon as it came out, I was all, oh, shouldn't have done that. We do this, and God says, when those things happen, when you're hanging out with those friends, let me, let me challenge you. I challenge the high schoolers with this. Y'all thought, thought the worship team was good? Right? Somebody did at least. I thought the worship team was good. Let me tell you. If your worship is different when you're by yourself than it is with the people because they're sitting around you right now, one of those two isn't worship. And it's not a dig on you guys. I don't want you to say that. Well, that guy was mean. I don't want to listen to him anymore. That's a challenge. Because God said, hey, Peter, when Peter and Jesus were together, Peter was willing to be this big, bold man. And then when Jesus walked away, Peter had to fight the battle without him. He got scared. And I'll tell you, it's easy to worship in here at chapel service with your friends around you. What's worship like when you're sitting in class and your teacher's making you mad? I want somebody. What's worship like when your parents won't let you hang out with your friends because you got to stay home and do your chores? Some of y'all are like, oh. That, that, that is the challenge, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to get through. Is Peter said, Jesus looked at Peter and said, it's easy to know me here, but will you know me there? 